Now, today's guest is one of Enugu's finest fashion, beauty, and lifestyle influencer. She's doing incredibly well in her field, and she's also a content creator. Today on Elevate Biz, remember what we do. We expose different business owners here in the Southeast and Enugu State precisely. I am your host, Ndulue Joan, and I have with me here, Doreen. It is so lovely to have you here. Thank you, Joan. You're welcome. You look beautiful and astonishing, by the way. You too. <laughs> I hope you didn't find it hard to... Get no, here. it was not actually hard. Like the signboard is on the road, so. Have you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So um, I think uh, I was going through some content uh, creators pages on Instagram. That's how I bumped into you in the first place. Actually, um, I wanted to get conversant with the whole space. So when I bumped into your page, I was like, wow, what you're doing is really impressive because it's not just um. It's not just content creation now. It's also you monetizing it and monetizing your skill as well. So I found that really impressive to start with. And I would have to give you a credit for that. Thank so, you. So, yeah. Although when I when I, when I um, chatted you up, what was like your first impression though? <laughs> was was like, it like? I, do, I didn't really. I was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> was it like one of all those? Ah, is another person trying to scam me again? No, or no, 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 no. I didn't feel that way. Yeah. So I actually went through your page and I was like, okay. Oh, okay, this is yeah, definitely. It. Yeah. So have you been to Crips TV before though? No, this is my first time. Okay. You're welcome. And Thank you're welcome you. to Shirley Beat this. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, something else I also noticed on your page is that you are really, um, how do I put it, interactive with your followers and there's also something I noticed too. I was even expecting that maybe you'd come here <laughs> with your dad's or your brother's shirt and trousers. I noticed that you like to ransack their wardrobe. <laughs> How often do you do that though? It depends. If I want to create content and I'm like, okay, I need to go for the street vibe, I'll okay. have to go and check. Because I have like four brothers. Four. And like two of my cousins that are guys staying with me. So everywhere around me is boys. So you're like the first or the last? I'm or the, the first middle? girl. The first girl. I'm the only girl actually. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, like um, number one. Oh, yeah, the first child and the first girl. Yes. Too. Ah, that's so really interesting. I'm leading the battalion. As so near? <laughs> and everything gets to fit you so perfectly. Yeah, because my brothers are big too. Oh, so, okay. except okay. their shoes, though, I can't wear their shoes. It's too big for me. Okay. That's good cool though. I actually do that also. I feel I find male wear is really comfortable. Because yeah, because it's big, big and, and, and everything it is. Yeah. So, I would say that um, so far, so good. I really think that what you're doing is impressive and very nice. So as a um, fashion influencer, lifestyle, beauty, and, you know, content generally, how did the journey start for you? Hmm, my journey. Yeah. Actually, it all started in 2020, yeah? Because that was like the lockdown. So everybody was on their phones. So I was looking at influencers do their thing. And that time I was using like an Infinix. Yeah. Yes, Infinix Hot 6. X. So I was just going through the Instagram and seeing TikTok and all, but I felt so I can't take pictures because my phone is not good and everything. Yeah. Then fast forward to although that's 2020, that's when I started my baking business. Okay. Yeah. So I was. Yeah, you guys. I didn't even highlight that. So she bakes. I mean, she bakes. That's impressive too. <laughs> so I used that to like keep myself busy until 2021. Yeah. yeah April time. Yeah, I think that was. Yeah, tw April 2021. Um, there was there's this influencer in Inugo, she longer she schools at she used to school at UNN. So she was like, Oh, if you're an influencer or you want to start up and let like, reach out to me so we could create content. Her name is Choco. Okay. Choco XX on Instagram. Choco. So, Sounds familiar though. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So I reached out to her. From there I started taking pictures, tried to grow my page because her she was really doing very well. So that was how I started where some because she stays in Osaka and I stay in Enugu now so like the distance barrier so sometimes she has to come down here go take pictures create batch content yes, you get yes. Yes, okay now. you guys can do like a, a lot at once yeah like she can come over for the weekend she'll stay at my side and okay. stay ahead so we can create content that we need for like three weeks Whoa. depending on how the weather and the environment okay but then you were, you were using her phone instead though. yes I was using her phone because she was using um an 11 pro max okay. yes and as I then I was using okay I was in seven plus then mm. but you know seven plus and 11 pro max now yeah, uh -huh. me, yeah. so I started with her phone then later on she graduated but before she graduated I already got an 11. okay that I still use it yeah then fast forward to 2022 February time I reached out to Naomi Ayebu on Instagram. So, because I found out she was a creator in Enugu and is in my, she's in my school, ca same campus. So I reached out to her. We started taking pictures. And her, she was using 11 Pro Max and I was using 11. 
Yeah, I was using 11, yes. So obviously, 11 Pro Max was better. So I was still using her, her phone to take pictures. But basically, when I met Naomi, that was when like everything really went a different. You know, when I say someone influences you, because yeah. she literally influences my, she influenced my sense of dressing. Like that time, when I, after I met her, yeah. I learned to take things more intentional. Yeah. Like, oh, if you're dressing everything. up, you have to accessorize, you have to make sure that the angle, because she's this kind of person that wants it to be perfect. If it's not perfect, she's not doing it. Yeah, so, so that rubbed off on you. Like, too. yeah, so like she just gave me she gave me that energy. Like, and we're like, oh, we have to grow, we have to push ourselves and everything. So that was literally like 2022 was when everything took. Although in 2021, September, that was the first time I had a post that went viral. Oh. And I had like 11 k no, first one was 4k likes on it. And I was like, Jesus. Because I remember that time I was like, if I get up to 1k like in a picture that day, I will go for things. Okay, that post that went viral was a picture. It was a picture. Okay. Yes. And the worst part is that I dressed corporate. I went for a retract event and okay. I was like, let me just snap a picture. And that's what's about Instagram. They just what you least expect is what, what goes do. by. Like, I'm swear. more surprised sometimes on Sunday Ed Nuts page, you know him now. Mm. Yeah, the kind of things he posts, I'm trying to spoil their wildest dreams. Like, you know, you, even know you that don't that even expect viral. it like at all. That picture went viral and that was where it all started. Followers started coming in. Then I now posted another one that I did not even expect. I was trying to like promote my business, Naya yeah. Street. Okay. So I wore the normal you said Naya Street. Naya Street, yes. So I was I just saw my branded polo and the leggings and Boom, 11k likes, and I'm like, Jesus, is this what how it, what is it happens? I'm sorry to cut you off. This yeah. is, it, is it the baking aspect? Yeah, it's the baking aspect. Okay, yes, yeah, it's the baking so aspect. So I was like, is this how it happens? And from there, I started getting encouraged. I was yeah. like, okay. And another thing again is that I was like, okay, I have to be very consistent, like yeah. giving contents back to back. That's the way to keep the engagement rolling. Like every day? Not every post. day. I do like two, two days. Some people do every day, but I really don't recommend every day. I prefer okay. two, two days. So that was how then, and I met now, me in, um, 2022 i think february march february, february march actually so we now started creating content together mm. i started learning from her or learning things like before if i want to take pictures i can take like 50 pictures and i'm fine but when i said snapping with naomi if you've not taken up to 500 pictures of <laughs> you yourself not you've not started because ah. you have to take enough so that you can the select you and and start selecting. Hair, so you get the perfect one you need that kind of thing her fashion sense really influenced me i'm not yeah. going to lie like i give it to her so that was like how i started and i got my own phone 12 pro max yeah because before if we go now we have to use her phone to snap the both of us but now everybody has their tripod everybody has their phone so you just go snap yourself and we are good to go if there's one that you need help you help you out so basically that was how everything started i know it's kind of when it starts as you see, the, like you see that it's you're bringing growing, results. it's bringing results. You yeah. keep on. You and at first, when stop. you started, you didn't really think it would go this far, now, right? Honestly, you I did not. It, just, it was just for you. It was more like, let me just let me just lockdown. Let me create content. No and... lockdown. I didn't even do anything. Okay, in yeah, lockdown. yeah. You said I that was, because of your phone. Yeah. Because of my phone, I was okay. discouraged. But I didn't expect it. Like the growth was really like boom. Like it yeah. just. Did came anything to... change at school? Or people now like? Mm, yeah, when people see me, they're day. like Doreen. But me, I don't know you now. So yeah, sometimes okay. I'm like, hi, not even just school self, like on the road. Even sometimes I might be snapping picture and somebody is passing. I'm like, are you not doing I know you from Snap. I know you from Instagram. Okay. And I'm like, it, although it made me become, because before now, I don't send anybody. I'll yeah. just be walking on my own, anything. Like I'll just dress normal. But now it's if I'm going cautious. out, I have to be, I don't know who's going <laughs> to see me. Because see sometimes you, right? people just send me random videos of myself yeah. and I'm like, wow, okay. Is this what I signed up for? Like one time I was in a bus. Mm -hmm. I was entering bus in my skinny form. Jesus Christ. One guy parked <laughs> his car. He said, shouting, influencer, influencer, influencer. Are you serious? I swear to God. I was, I didn't know if I should answer him. He was like, come, come, let me give you a ride. Let me give you a ride. With the way he had really like shouted, I was like, let me know. Yeah, he was influencer, influencer. I was shouting. Well, like like he came out from his window. You influencer, influencer. Ah. What were you was, feeling that time? Was it like embarrassment to your feeling or you were like, even, or you know. were like happy? That's I or, don't even know what I was feeling. Or is it a mixture of all of them? I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, ah. Although he dropped me off and I was like, okay. So I'm told, this is what you got yourself in. So you have to. Oh. So that was literally my journey. It started, brands started coming in. Sometimes you have to still reach out to brands and okay, stuff yeah. like that. So, so what was like your first um, brand deal officially? My first brand deal that officially. I really can't remember the first one, okay. but I can remember the first brand deal that paid me well. Hey, okay. Jesus. That was like with one x bets, yeah? And literally, I did not have to do anything. All I just needed to do was just to repost their post. Like, they will tell you what to post today. Okay. You post it on your page. Like, they are betting... 
stuff. Okay, this is because of your engagements now on your page. Yes. It's not like you were doing anything personally. No, any no. Content no, no. Okay. So just post, let them, let your followers see this stuff. And the worst part is that you reached out to me like in May. I did not know. Like, I, I, because you know, comes to your inbox is filled up yeah. and all. Because of that, means if I learned to start Chocolate deleting, okay. once I open your message, I delete it because it makes you, at the end of the day, you won't see a lot of brands that come to reach out to you because yeah, they'll be hidden everything under, everything yeah. will be packed. So, I, some don't send emails now. Most of them no, your people Instagram don't really. Some people actually go through Instagram because that one expert was through Instagram. Okay. So I was like, when I went through, I was like, let me just go through my message request and answer it. And I replied, they're like, okay, yeah, I want to work with you. And they paid in dollars. So I was like, damn, Wait, is this, is this <laughs> for is real? This, is this real? Like, I can imagine. that was the first deal I got that was really big. And I was like, wow. If, it's infl- if this is how it is, me and you forever, <laughs> we like here. we die here. So it was, like, so it was really nice. I was so happy thing. that time. Yeah. Like, I was like, God, yes, I see your hand in this work because. Why were you able to manage it with school, though? Wasn't it challenging? Ah, hmm. my sister. <laughs> this is hell. I can't imagine. Like, there are some times, because as, as a, I'm a medical student, I'm yeah. studying med lab. Medical student for that matter. So, like, everything is so, like, choking sometimes you come back it was a day i had to i had practicals to like five yeah. in this 400 level i had to because i knew i needed to take pictures that that evening because mm-hmm. i needed like like i was already meeting up my deadline so i had to run out from class like i don't really run out because i still stayed to the end of the practical around five i came back as i can like, the practical is like from eight to five mm-hmm. two different practicals so like at a stretch I came back, carried my um, property, like my things changed, carried my tripod stand. Because like, I think it was spa. I need to go and take that picture. I, but no, it was not spa. It was um, the cash. Was it like your private stuff or for another brand? It was for a brand. So I had to like do it. If not, I don't know when next time. I t- and again, I need to post it. So I had to like run to go and take the picture after class, like after a whole full day. So like it's really stressful. Sometimes exam period like this, like, okay, um last year mm-hmm. during november that was when we had the exam so i like took a break on the whole posting and everything mm-hmm. and all and it really told on my instagram because you know how instagram is if you leave instagram instagram will leave you like exactly. your engagement will just that? drop so like building it all back was like kind of it took like i know what it took me like a lot of consistency to be able to build it back so it's not easy we'll like in the face of it's not it's not easy to make school and and coupled and that was one of the reasons why i reduced my baking because baking school instagram ah, is, one be person, a lot. is one person because be i bake at lot. night so everything is just and sometimes if you have classes the next day you have to plan your outfits a night before so that you'll be able to like prepare yourself to create your content oh what? <laughs> I can't imagine. I don't know times where you just feel like I don't want to again. Ah, I cry. I so there's sometimes I cry. I'll call now me. And when you're seeing it on Instagram, it looks so glamorous. Uh, without my stress. dear, behind the scenes is very like literally all creators have that time whereby they want to just. Sometimes I'll call now me. I'll be like now me. I'm tired. I'll tell Fanta. Fanta, yeah. I'm not doing again. You should go on. Like leave me. The body will be like no. Fanta, guy. the uh, graphic designer. No, not the graphic designer. Okay. Fanta, she's the creator Fanta. too. Oh, okay. I'm, Fanta will be like no, Dory, you cannot give up. Oh, hey, it's not possible. And that's like yeah. why you have friends around but you too. They're just getting to your peak. I swear, so like you can't even can't give up, but my dear, honestly, anybody that is going into that, you need strength and you need Jesus. So, so. <laughs> what about your parents though? Were they absolutely supportive? Because I know, <laughs> I don't know. If I know that this is see, Nigeria. I don't know if you are going to see this, but <laughs> honestly speaking, my parents don't know what I do. E for real? No, they don't know. Uh, Although sometimes I hint my mom that oh, I have this because sometimes from at home I create content, uh, so she's seen the LED light and she's like. What is going on? Although my brothers, everybody knows, except my parents. Uh, so I feel like deeply religious because hmm. nowadays people are, they are beginning to accept a little bit as far as the money is coming in. Now. My parents are strict, like not really. If they know what I'm doing, mm. that I'm doing advert and everything, they won't actually have a problem. But it's just what you wear, what yeah, how is actually okay. where I have problem with them is just dressing. Yeah, it's true. So that's the major. And you know fashion. Thing. You, you have need to. Be to yes, you, you can't. You can't food. just keep yourself to one this thing and hair. Yeah. So that's, but sometimes I hint them that, oh, I did this and I got money for this. So that's, yeah. they don't really know. It's really interesting though. But I pray <laughs> that by the time they know, let me have enough money that they will be like, you know how parents can. When yes. they see that money is coming in, they, what's uh-huh, they, start they just have to accept. They will accept you like that. Because <laughs> my father is all about education. Go to yeah. school. That's, that's what, what I was like I'm as a medical student. You. 
Like it was one hell of a journey. But it's also a colorful one. So as I'm you saying, learn and you learn a lot yeah. of things. So like is there a difference between um beauty, lifestyle and fashion influencing or they just go hand in hand? Does it mean that you work with um skincare brands as well? Yes. Or it's just strictly clothes and all those No, things. no, no. I work with skincare brands, makeup brands. Like um lifestyle has to do with general like a lifestyle creator can actually cre- like cover everything mm. like literally mm-hmm. and people that do lifestyle usually put their vlog like yeah. uh, her, like you know exploring you know yeah, yeah. her hair so like that kind of that's exactly like lifestyle then fashion is outfits and then beauty is has to be makeup hair and, and um, into all of them. yeah and i'm into yeah. all of them yeah definitely so um have you always been in Enugu though no or was it school that brought you here school school so where did you grow up I grew up in Lagos. I was born and brought up in Lagos. So I just, okay. I'm a visitor here. <laughs> I came to see you guys. Okay, so let's talk about um, the major tool you use for your influencing and content creation. Because I know I met you on Instagram, but then there are other platforms as well. Am I right? Yes. Are you yes. on TikTok? Or? Yeah, I'm on TikTok. I'm on Snapchat. Okay. Yes. But majorly, Instagram. you use Instagram. <sighs> Honestly. Yeah. Majorly, I use Snapchat. Like, my yes, life yes. is on Snapchat. Well, Instagram is, like, strictly business, actually, because that's where I post my, okay, post. Honestly, I think I'm the only person on that using Snapchat, too, because I uh, feel like Snapchat just to take five pictures. No, 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 no. Snapchat is, videos. Snapchat is really like, home to there. me. Like, any little thing you are seeing, hey, guys, mm-hmm. what's up? Like, I interact more with my Snapchat okay. um, subscribers than Instagram is just post and go because okay. at some level you have to maintain some kind of prof- professionalism on Instagram, Instagram yeah. compared to Snap. I can't really just come and post on my although I can post on my story though. But once I post on Snapchat, I just get bored of posting on Instagram. Okay. Only what I now remember. But you know, Snapchat is a video. Yeah, it's a video platform. That's what I was even thinking. Yeah. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this session. We're going to go on a short commercial break, so please stay tuned, okay? Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, you guys. Remember, we are still on to Elevate Biz, and I am with Doreen. <laughs> it's still lovely to have you here with us. Thank okay, you. Okay, so... um. We've spoken at length about how you went into content creation and influencing, and we've heard of your journey so far. It's not been an easy one at all, but then mm-hmm. it's something that you've been consistent with and it's definitely paying off yeah. now. So, yeah, I think we should also talk about um, how you charge brands, probably those things you consider before you charge them. Okay, how I charge brands. The thing here is, um, first off, when a brand reaches out, I'll weigh the brand. That just it's although I have a rate card like a steady amount yeah. that this is what I charge uh, here. So, but bef- when I look at the brand, because there are some brands that you just have to help oh, them. Yeah. You get not every time you have to bring out your big price. You get when you see that this brand is trying to start up, you just mm-hmm. okay. You just want to sometimes it, yeah. you just do gifted collaboration because there are some brands that will meet me and I'm like, you can't afford what I would. I'm not trying to, but exactly. your business is starting up. And I know what it feels like to be starting up a business. So I would be like, just give me your product. I'll do my thing. And listen, most mm-hmm. of my friends that I influence for or advertise their products, I don't charge them because I even feel like, why will I be charging my friend? But like, yeah, because at least they yeah. supported me while I was trying to grow. Yeah. So if I check the brand, I'll see that, okay, this brand can actually pay like What's what funny? I want. Then... I'll tell the brand the price. If I see you can't pay, I would... Listen, sometimes there are some brands that will reach out to you and they'll be the ones to give you price. That's why sometimes it's not really good to be the first to throw Initiate. in your price. Yeah. Because some brands might want to offer you higher. Yeah. And you come and tell them lower. And they're like, okay. Enough, yeah. Because especially all these brands that work with big influencers. So they really yeah. have this mindset yeah, that this is, this is how much it used to be. I mean, this is how much it is. Yeah. So when they want to pay you like 100k for a job and you're like... They're like, what is your charge? And you're like, oh, it's 50. They won't tell you, I want to give you 100. Where they'll say, ah, thank you. Let me save my money. So they won't. So sometimes you let them talk. Then yeah. if it's not convenient for you, it's I've like had brands working. that I turned down because I know they can afford to pay me what I want. But, they are but they're trying to offer me less and make me feel less about myself. So I'll be like, actually, one thing I learned is that it's better. Like, it's better you, not every time. But it's better you don't collect that brand deal 
than you collect that deal that at the end of the day you will not be happy with because if you if you collect a job and they pay you well yeah if you are doing that work there's always a diff even as a baker yeah if there's some people that will pay for cake like this that will be like please i have to do the whole world on this cake so that yeah. this person will be happy that yes i know i paid for it and i paid for this thing that like, satisfaction that yes so you have yeah. to but when someone now when you and person compromise price compromise price com you just at the end of the day like feel bad about it like i learned this thing from like three people yeah um now me hands and mc hands and simplies they were the ones that told me like at yeah. different occasions that it's better you don't take a job than take a job very soon because when you take this price like okay you come to meet me you want to influence your for you want me to advertise your hair for you and i charge you 40k for example and you're like no please now because brands know how to beg i mean i say brands now they know how to play with your side like be ready <laughs> So you beg me now, please. Oh, yeah, take 20. What I have is 20. And I'm going to still leave my stuff with you, please. And blah, blah, blah. The next time I'll come to work with you. That's like the biggest scam. Don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Charge what you because sometimes they don't end up coming back after you finish reducing price. And you still see them go and pay somebody else higher, higher. than that. So that's like very annoying. Yeah, and it's hurts your ego. There's law in business that everybody should understand that not all brands are for you. Yes. Not all yes. There are some are people you should just well. let go. Yeah. So if I accept that from you, your fellow people in the business are like, oh, I saw Doreen make a video for you. So how much so, did she charge you? You now be like, ah, she charged me 40, but I begged her and she charged me 20. So yeah, beg really her, she will do it. Before you know it, you see yourself receiving orders that are not... You and get, then when you now say no, is that they are spreading... Your yes, like, or maybe is, you are, you're um, being, you're, you're picking people to work with and people, like, you yeah, are being, do, picking somebody like... Your, Favorite, favorite, <laughs> favorite season. Season. yes when I and enter that is the not picture. professional yes so mm -hmm. most times if you want to reduce for a brand you know that you are reducing it because you want to reduce yeah, it yeah, and yeah. probably you like what they are offering yeah. then you just know okay at least you are gaining something mm -hmm. very good so if i want to charge i just look at the brand and know how this is but one thing i'm going to advise you turn down that offer yes it's not, everything mm -hmm. is not about money sometimes yeah. your dignity to matters mm -hmm. a lot because because yes. what's going to actually elevate your business like, as well self-respect yes like that self-respect matters a lot because yeah. at the end of the day if you even check it now maybe a brand come and pay you sometimes there's some outfits that a brand will send to you you need to buy other things to be able to complement it yeah so still, you not when, when, at the end if of the day you, if you do a have big job that's also a problem yeah it's a problem because it will affect your brand and also yeah. affect the person and person i'm like oh you didn't do a good job for me so if you're pricing um if you're if you want to price a brand you should also check a lot of things like yeah. actually weigh everything before you do this thing and yeah. don't compromise mm -hmm. only when you that's, want that's, to don't let a brand cool. actually you trip you into compromising that's, for that's them really, mm -hmm. that's really enlightening guys i hope you are hearing that yeah so let's talk about your challenges though in the field let's talk about your personal challenges and generally because you know we're trying to really enable people that are staying in Enugu and the south is generally to know what doing business here is like so we'll talk about personal challenges and what the environment too has also mm. influenced personal challenges like oh, well. <laughs> but uh, obviously you have to keep on moving yeah. so i'm going to start with Enugu is not receptive to Enugu people are not receptive to influencers and creators. Oh, I almost asked you that as well, but I felt it, it might come in the challenges. Yes, they That's are not that. receptive. They don't really know what it is to be so for for the impact that influencing has on a business. They really don't know. So that is also part of the pricing where they are coming to. That most of the brands I've been worked with are not even Enugu brands. I work with brands from outside, like Lagos and other places, yeah. because Enugu people are going to come and be pricing you like people are selling Pepe, like. Please, I'm not here to beg. Like, I'm doing my business same way you're doing your business. Yeah. You get this so, like, the pricing is this, and any people are not receptive. Then, also, when you want to go and take pictures, you go to a place and they're like, "Sorry, you can't snap here. You can't create. Score. You can't take picture. Like, imagine how I'm dressed." I yeah, do my makeup. <laughs> At the end of the day, I go out under the sun and somebody is telling me I you can't, can't snap here. Sometimes you even buy something, they will tell you you can't snap, which is, I won't say it's unfair and it's, it's fair at the same time because it's their property, so it's what they want, they will do. But at the same time, they should look at it this way. It's actually a win-win. I know how many places I've gone to in this Enugu, not because I'm meant to know the place, but because I saw someone snap here and I'm like, oh, where is this place? There are other creators that are following creators to see it. Aside from creators... I feel like it also still boils down to their receptiveness and exposure. So I don't think they are enlightening enough about to know the whole that it's a thing. thing. Because, yeah. okay, now, okay, let's cite this example. I go to somewhere like... Um, 
where, 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 where. Mm. I go to somewhere like the cash. Why is the cash just coming to my mouth? <laughs> I go to somewhere like the cash. Okay, no, let me not say the cash. Nikkei Resort, okay. Nikkei Lake Resort. If I go there to take my pictures, let's say I go there, I just okay, I leave clothes, I go there to take my pictures. Yeah. And after taking these pictures, I post them up on my Instagram. I don't have just any good followers. I have followers from oh, everywhere, yeah. Nigeria, even Ghana, UK, Ni- um, America. So when they see this place, they're like, what is this? Where is this place? Some people go as far as coming to your DM. Please, where is this location? So someone out there now sees Enugu and like, oh, so Enugu can be this fine. Oh, I would like to travel to Enugu too. Then we do the people go from Enugu to Lagos to yeah. chill. Somebody might be like, oh, I want to come and actually see how Enugu is. At the end of the day, when the person comes, oh, she went to Nikkei Lake Resort. I want to go there and see how that place is. Win, it's win. a win to them. It's a win to Enugu as a whole because it's increasing the revenue of the state yeah. through tourism because people are now coming in. People are paying for exactly. hotel, paying for everything. So it's a win. I don't know why they would want to they don't reason this they just feel like and hey, you're using them or they'll too tell shine. you are you not paying <laughs> are they not paying Nigeria you for the whole yeah, picture so shine. i'm like please this is it's you're meant to accept it yeah. so that is a challenge mm-hmm. then also my personal challenge because where i stay is like a lodge i stay in a lodge so my room is not so like convenient sure. to take be, make picture videos okay. not to mean pictures oh, okay. videos because like the setting of the house is not okay, okay, really okay. receptive and here for it gets now like if you want to take a video you need a full space so yeah, that you so get you what really... you want and here so sometimes mm. i have to go to my friend's place to take make videos so if the person is not around what happens what you do now <laughs> that also also challenges that you face then brands too some brands can really be <laughs> A pain in the neck like they want to because they paid you they want to really like explore you ex- like they can tell you to do a video now i'm going to give you guys a tip for creators yeah if you do something like if a brand tells you to make a video for them yeah and they say they don't like okay and you want to send it to them for them to approve don't just send that video like that go on watermark your video yeah. write your name boldly so they will not be able to use it. Because some brands, they go as far as being smart. They'll tell you, oh, I don't like this. But tomorrow, you see it on their page. You get. And then they will not even pay you they for will, that. And they will not pay you for that extra work. You go and now redo the one. They will not say, okay, this is okay. So if you want to watermark, write during full on it, let them know. So if they want to post it, they can't post something like that because it doesn't look good. Here. So brands, some brands can really be um, just... Um, and then, you know they can remove that watermark though? Can they remove it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's I don't really know shit. It's to be hard. Also, what to mark your <laughs> it's whole to be hard, video. Though, yes. It's to be hard. How do you yeah, want to actually to remove it? Do you want to clean it? I know it? that they're on the way to invent something that is exactly no, before they will be creators. But they will be one step ahead. Yes, of them, creators yeah. will always know before them. But then, what about competition, though? How do you have to deal with that? Because I know there are a lot of influencers here in Enugu as well. Um, competition. Is it really competition? The actually the market here is not the influencer market is not saturated mm-hmm. yes okay. and i don't i won't say there's a com- to me oh there is no competition because most of the people that i know are creators we have like different sectors not really different sectors but we have like a community okay okay so we that know each that. other so everybody is kind of on the same like so it's more like you guys are working together now yes actually because there are some jobs i might get Mm-hmm. that i know that you can't handle i won't own. really do well i'll mm-hmm. say okay give it to this person okay. to do so like the competition is really to me i don't know maybe other people but to me the competition is really minimal because yes. i instead we learn from each other sometimes we sit down together we talk about brands like teach mm-hmm. each other like okay this is what i experienced and from this person's experience you are learning from this we communicate so yeah. the competition is really really minimal it's not much. Oh, i mean i've had a lot to learn oh, you guys i hope you guys have also had a lot to learn from Dorian. she's had so much to say so to just round things off round things up rather um what advice would you give someone that's looking to go into the field okay my advice to you number one you cannot go into the battle without God. In anything you are doing in this life, you always have to have God in front of you. Like, always put God in everything. So, when you put God, things become less easier. I'm sorry, less stressful instead. So, then, be consistent. Ah. Very important factor. Like, you cannot start hmm. today and give up. Ah. Like, it's very tempting. If you start, it's a marathon. Shouldn't. You cannot yeah. stop. Even if you want to stop, you stop, catch your breath, continue running. You can't, you can't stop. Doesn't it affect your personal life in any way, though? Does it? 
or you just it's more it's, it's part of your person. I mean, you know some people naturally they are introverted, but then they do these things because oh, they want. No, no, no. I'm okay. actually an extrovert, so okay. it doesn't affect. The things are right from time, right from my secondary school, primary school. I've always been this person out there, so, yeah, so it's, it's very, normal for me. Yeah. So just be consistent. Like that is really important. Then as you're being consistent, don't try to compete. Learn. Instead learn of from people learn around instead you. Of um, when you have um, when you have situations, if something is wrong with you, talk to your fellow creators. Learn to interact. Don't be on your own. Like, learn from them. Then, what else again? What else again? Um, discover your niche. It helps a lot. Okay. Because before I was just everywhere creating just general content. I wasn't really giving fashion content until I met Naomi. Okay. So how she was literally like, okay, on the fashion. So I was like, oh, and I've always known I wanted the fashion line, but I really did not make it a thing. I was just posting pictures, so just doing well. And yeah. then later on, when I met her, I was an announcer, took it serious, like, oh, I have to be very intentional about it. So know your niche. Um, when you're putting out content, try to put out content that beneficial. Okay. Don't just put out content because you are putting, putting out, out content. You're putting okay. out content. Like, I think that's a very key one, you guys. Yeah. Put things that would... That's why you see me. I'm coming with the whole get ready with me, how to style. Because there are people out there that really need... Like, that thing is inspiring. It might not be everybody because yeah. your audience is mixed. But at least they are, they're up to like three... Not even three. There, there are people. There's a crowd learn. that are actually looking up to what you have to post. Okay. What's, oh, what is Doreen going to drop? What's inspiration what's quote cool, um, and since she's going to drop so put things that are beneficial that way so people would your posts also do very okay. yeah. well yeah i think that's but that's not all but that's all i can remember then <laughs> invest okay. invest invest like it okay normally like now if you want to do a business and it's the amount of money you put that would come out it's not yeah. every time it works like that but like before when i started influencing i was using a 10 inches ring lights and I was like, no, some you can't be using 10 inches ring light because it's not making my distinct. I was in like a seven plus then. So it's like, it's not clear. From there, I went to 14. From there, I'm like, no, this 14 is no longer serving me again. It's not giving me the content, okay. I, the, the, the lightning I want. I had to buy an LED light. It took me, it took, what time I bought the light 63 now? Yes. That time it was Naomi and I bought our lights together. Ha, huh, I know what that money, I was like, but now. It's paying off. Mm. Definitely, mm -hmm. so investment is a key actually part of invest like anybody that tells anybody you see doing well to know that there are things that we had to invest in. So, even my tools, tripod, I'm buying tripod, buying lights back to back. Anything that I see that is going to help, I will buy. So, invest. That's, that's, I think that's that's all I can that's, remember. That, that's really wonderful. If I that wrap things up, <laughs> thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. today. Thanks I mean, you've had me. so much to share. Even me, I've learned a lot personally. <laughs> so, I don't even think our conversation ends here. I'm nope. just saying. No problem. So, <laughs> definitely, thank you for joining us on thank Elevate Thank you for having this. me. Yeah. You're welcome. You guys, remember this is still Elevate Base. So, until I come your way next time, remember I am still your host. Make sure you have a lovely day ahead. Bye. <laughs>